That's what this is about. You got to step up to the line. You have to take on the challenge, and that means people are going to be leaving their feet. Who truly has a better drop kick? But don't let this take away from the fact that this isn't a game of horse. This isn't who has the best. You still have to win the contest. Claro's favorite wrestler, Fancy Ryan Clancy, one-on-one -on -one with world-class Channing Thomas tonight. This promises to be a very exciting matchup that really comes, comes down to some of the basics of wrestling. I think I have a move that's better than yours. Honestly, for both of these gentlemen, they both utilize basics so perfectly and they utilize their mastery of basic fundamentals of professional wrestling and body control to get to the very top of multiple cards, including here at Wrestling Open. As Channing Thomas. I mean, if I know anything about Channing Thomas over the years, it's that if he gets fixated on something, very much like Sidney Bacabella, it isn't just something they want to do, it becomes this obsession, it becomes overwhelming. And I think that drop kick is going to be an obsession of his. That's the reason those two have worked well together for such a long period of time, multiple years in fact. Fancy Ryan Clancy though, an intelligent individual. Very, he's, a, he's not an easy man to rile up, but once he is there, the aggression that he has shown over his time at Wrestling Open, it, it's not something you want to invite. I wouldn't think so. But Channing Thomas and Sidney Bacabella, they invite a lot of negative energy in so many different ways. And Channing Thomas inviting these shots from Fancy Ryan Clancy, ask and you shall receive. Made the request, got the first chop, he didn't want another, covered up immediately. I don't think that chest here is gonna give him enough of a cushion away from those violent knife edges. And Channing Thomas, feeling the effects of what he asked for. Irish whip reversed. Fancy man up and over. He, oh, that ankle. Man, uh, he might have landed a little awkwardly there. Channing saw it, went right after it, tried an ankle pick. Clancy able to at least avoid for the time being, but you can see it, he is feeling that ankle right now. Expertly avoids disaster, enters a butterfly position, executes the plets, utilizing primarily his right leg, but that left ankle is gonna be very difficult to walk or do much with that bad decision there by Clancy, I would say. Yeah, I mean, that, that's another one of his signature maneuvers there as he spun that neck, but in the process, he might have just twisted his own foot. Now stomping on the good leg. Might be thinking about going on the run. And, and again, I don't know if this is a, a good decision on his part as he missed, and who knows what part of his foot might have connected with the ropes, some of the steel back there. And look at that, Channing Thomas, like a shark, sensing that blood in the water going right after him. That left leg, when he shot up, when his coccyx hit the middle turnbuckle, you saw the left foot slam against that top rope, and this isn't helping matters. Now both the ankle and the knee are in great peril. Channing Thomas letting this Worcester crowd know who is the very best, letting all of the people at the White Eagle know that he is world class. Drag and screw Channing Thomas not releasing that ankle. And right now this shark smelling the blood in the water going first after the ankle, then after the knee and a shot to the face. Channing putting on full display his game plan in this contest. Find an opening, take advantage. And that's another part of the game of Channing Thomas is not only is he going to be excellent in that ring, but once he's on top, once he has that advantage, he's gonna annoy you. Oh, look at that right there. The ankle and the foot giving out one more time. I'm not sure that I just pushing away Callaway. Oh, what do you go through when you have an injury, especially so early in a match? How do you deal with that? It's extremely difficult to change a game plan once it gets removed from you. Wow! I mean, that was as ruthless of an angle for that crash landing there on that ankle from Channing Thomas. As this crowd letting Channing know what they think of him. 
to answer your question, the best thing that fancy the fancy man could do at this point is create space. Get space, take a moment to assess the damage, and then do your very best to release your greatest hits. Try to find a swift end to the contest. As Channing has been in this spot so many times before, a lot of competitors with the 10 minute time limit will be in a rush. No, Channing Thomas will take every single second he can. Wait, hold on. Shoulders down. Five of Count of two. Time limit five. Minutes remain. Here comes Channing. And now he's ah. the one who misses. Goes backwards and has that crash landing for himself. Turnabout is fair play. Channing went up a little higher. The back of that head, I believe, slammed on either the bottom or second turnbuckle. I'm surprised he's even up. And Clancy on the comeback trail here. Ducks that shot. There's a right hand to the top of the forehead. There's the European. The fancy man is rolling here. And Channing Thomas looks out of sorts, to put it mildly. And this is such great intelligence and utilization of psychology from Fancy Ryan Clancy. He understands the pain he's experiencing in his left leg and refusing to move from that position, executing great basic offense at a high level. Ryan Clancy, Channing Thomas. Channing said, I have the better drop kick than you, Fancy, but Clancy hasn't even had a chance to hit that drop kick, and frankly, with that ankle, I don't know if he could. Now, you might have a better drop kick right now, Paul. I mean, this man's ankle. How is he going to jump? How is he going to elevate? Going to try that backslide. Channing trying to power out of it. He's able to. Gets the reversal. Wait, Clancy. There's the reversal. Small package. Count of two. Oh, look at all. Oh, he's going for that unique sort of whip, but there's a drop kick, and Channing was on the money with it. Is that it? Not with a drop kick. No, just barely Clancy able to get that shoulder up, and Channing can't believe it. To call it a kick out would, would undersell how little of a, of a reach that shoulder got away from that mat. I'm surprised this contest continues. Channing Thomas, Ryan Clancy. Channing hit that drop kick. There's another one. Oh, that might be it. He barely survived the first. Clancy's out again. And Channing is beside himself. In the war of drop kicks, Channing's hit too, but neither one has been the home run. Teddy call it the better drop kick. He told Steph Curry he had the better three and just bricked on two. Aye! And like a sack of bricks hitting the ground, Channing Thomas goes out to the floor and hits hard. That is unforgiven wood. There's no pad and nothing. And now this is it, Ryan Clancy! Clancy crashing down, but you have to think, even if he didn't land directly on his feet, his foot, his ankle definitely hit the wood floor right there. Even just jumping, getting the elevation to clear that third rope, it requires an extension of that ankle and of that knee, which he definitely did not want to feel. As these two are brawling out here on the floor, Clancy's got him by the hair as they continue to slug it out. Knee lift catches the chest and the chin. Fancy Ryan Clancy in firm control. Gonna try to put him against the post. Oh, no, his ankle gave out again. Into the post. Nine. Up to a count of nine. Somebody's gonna get in there. I don't think they can. I, did Clancy make it in time? Did he get it? I don't think he did. Here's the time, eight minutes, 40 seconds. The referee declares this bout a double count out. Uh, Clancy did not break the plane in time. Oh, come on! Shannon Thomas taking a cheap shot. He hit that drop kick twice. It didn't work, and now, he, now he's acting like a baby. A millisecond removed Shannon Thomas from defeat, and he feels the need to still assault. Hits that parting shot on Ryan Clancy. 
I thought it was close. I feel like if we had instant replay or VAR here, Clancy, it was close, but in the end, it's a double count out. Folks, let's take a look at Inception.